video, we want to use Terraform to deploy a really simple Hello World container on Kubernetes. The extension that you need in Visual Studio Code is um, HashiCorp Terraform that you see I have installed it already and I have started uh, PowerShell as, admin as administrator to execute some um, Kubernetes command in parallel okay I close this page and go to file I create a folder here The first uh, file that we need here is provider because we should um, we should specify which provider of Terraform we want to use. We want to use the Terraform and the Kubernetes provider. The file must be named provider.tf. After that I created it. Uh, it is actually a personal um, setting. I prefer to use uh, autocomplete uh, um, feature of each uh, editor. Therefore, it's always better to run uh, Terraform in each command uh, to be able to use um, this feature in the editor area. Uh, but because uh, I didn't specify the providers that I want to use right now, uh, first, I want uh, to ignore it, and after that I specify the providers in this file, I can uh, execute uh, Terraform in each command. Um, to, not to waste the time, uh, I uh, copied the configuration that I most of the time use for deploying uh, on Kubernetes on local machine, uh, and I paste it here. Uh, to show you uh, the providers that want to use the Terraform, which version of the Terraform and the uh, provider is Kubernetes um, and you have to know uh, what is the address of Kubernetes on your host one of the way that you can use to get this address is to use uh, kubectl config view command uh, to show you how you can use it I will paste it here then you see uh, that the server address is HTTPS uh, 127.001 and the port number I copied uh, this address and paste it here uh, you can do it uh, on any on-premises and your local machine and after that you um, uh, specified the provider that you want to use uh, now it makes sense that you go to the folder uh, CD in our case is um, Kubernetes Hello World and you can write, uh, execute uh, Terraform init command here uh, to be able to use the autocomplete uh, feature uh, of um, Terraform in your Visual Studio Code environment. Great, and look, it looks good. One more thing that you uh, consider is uh, .terraform files and folders that you have here. Uh, please uh, be careful if you are using with any uh, uh, Git uh, repository or any uh, versioning system, uh, source versioning system. It's better to uh, consider these two files. Uh, or this uh, file and folder in your git ignore file because it's not necessary to push them into your repository and it doesn't make sense um, now I don't work with git it is only on my local machine therefore I don't have git ignore file here uh, but you have to consider it in your real development uh, environment um, again not to waste the time after that, I specified the provider, um, the Kubernetes uh, developers and um, experts know that uh, we can uh, start with uh, deployment. 
and uh, in turnoff form we have to start with uh, deployment tf file as well deployment.tf file and not to waste the time I took a um, simple example of um, Karatik um, Gakwad uh, the learning Kubernetes uh, from LinkedIn Uh, because my aim is not to show you how to uh, develop uh, application or how to make container image uh, the goal of this video is uh, to show you how you can uh, use Terraform to deploy the same resources on your Kubernetes on premises or on your local machine when you are uh, testing and learning uh, then we have to now i can use uh, i can use control space button to use uh, autocomplete menu in my editor uh, the first um, uh, resource that i need here is deployment resource then again control space now i can use uh, kubernetes resources uh, deployment exactly kubernetes deployment and the name is in our case for example hello world now i can close this uh, panel to show you um, the whole command that i'm using as you know first each deployment needs um, metadata uh, actually, I follow the same steps as I have in this uh, small and simple example. Uh, metadata and each metadata, you know that you have name in your autocomplete menu. And it is hello world again. What we have here, we have specifications, great. Again, control space and you have specification. You see that they have both uh, the same structure. I do format it it looks better and then you have let me to apply the changes manually uh, okay uh, in some uh, specifications you have selectors it is the same as you have there it's not so complicated um, for the people who works every day with um, Kubernetes uh, configuration file it's easy to uh, convert it to um, Terraform file. In uh, match label, we have app and we have hello world. Specification here is um, for a selector is finished. Then what we have, we have replica, the same control space replica. Here is uh, in our example is one. I can say, for example, two to show you that it can uh, be deployed uh, to uh, pods. Uh, then we have template, the same as a configuration. Each template has a meta file, metadata, and in metadata, we specify the labels, control space, help us again, app, and hello world, hello world. Uh, what we have um, we have specifications for template I come to the same level specification in a specification we have to specify which container and what is the container name the same structure container then we have name the name is hello world and uh, the container image is image is I would take the same uh, container image and you specify container ports the same structure you see it's not a big challenge container port and then control s I saved it we are in the same folder of hello world I can close it and I start with one. 
you can uh, use Terraform uh, plan to see it is a um, dry one to see what will happen next but uh, I can um, go ahead with um, Terraform apply when you see this question you will answer the question with yes great the deployment is Finish now, we can go to uh, check the Kubernetes resources. To check the Kubernetes resources, I go back to PowerShell and I say um, kubectl get deployment zip. And I would see, yes, hello world is there and two pods are ready. Then I say kubectl uh, get pods and then I see yes two pods are running. Uh, right now we cannot see this hello world in our browser because um, I can say uh, kubectl get services. And only we have a cluster IP uh, service here uh, and it belongs to Kubernetes. If I want to see um, this application in my browser, I have to uh, have a um, node port service here to be uh, able to see this um, uh, container or do the content of these pods uh, in my browser. In some scenarios, uh, you are learning something, you are deploying the resources, but um, you don't really want to cause any cost. Uh, you can simply use uh, terraform dis uh, destroy uh, command here. Terraform destroy, uh, and then all the resources. Um, will get deleted yes great uh, i execute the same commands deployment has been deleted great pods must be terminated yes they are terminating they will be removed after a while Okay, then you now know how to deploy Kubernetes resources on premises and uh, destroy the resources. One more thing that you have to consider is the um, state file because all that happens here are based on uh, Terraform state file. The state file knows uh, which resource must be created, uh, which resource must be updated and which resource uh, must be deleted when we execute the Terraform destroy command.